So this element is done. Next, we need to do action on this element. Next on this element, next on this element. So you need to perform action on each element. So what you want to do? So in my account menu, I just want to open my account menu. Then only I can see a register link and a login link. So once you open, then you can click on this. Once you open, then you can click on this. So that is the this uh, test cases we have to build like that. So let's write uh, open my account menu public void open my account menu. So log dot info. My account menu. So then you call this element my account. Click method is there right in the web driver utils class. So that's the thing. Just add those declaration. That's it. Then so now we get to so just see this. You already know I guess. take that URL. So understand the functionality first. So we open like this. This is the method we have written. Now we need to navigate to Click on this register and it will navigate to registration page. So navigate to registration page. That's what we need to do that. Public void navigate to register page. First, what you need to do if you want to know it, first you need to call this method, right? You need to open menu. Then only you can, so click on it. info. So, paste. Click on so register link. Just call click method and view this element. So because this method has a throws declaration, right? You we didn't declare. That's why it is complaining. Just declare it. So then error will be solved. Same way, so now we get to login page. You develop the same method. I'd be happy to give you directions. Where would you? So now we get to login page. So first you have to open the menu always. So you have to write a test cases, uh, the methods independent. So that's why I'm not depending on this. So we will open this and then you will click on login link. So, so click on login link. That's it.
So what is the next element left now? This one. Get feature section cards count. We'll get this cards count, okay? So it's a getter method we are writing. So it is a return type method. So returns, because you're getting the count. It should be four. That's why we are getting a count. So to validate at runtime. So public int. So because it returns. Get featured section cards count. So you can see that now you write the log dot info. Pitching featured section cards count. So written. So this list dot size. So that will return an integer value, right? So that's what. So this is all the home page related. So we developed the home pages. So what are the elements you are using? That elements we developed. So that's it. So any questions? No. Let's go to login page. So let's develop all the pages, okay? So click, go to login page. This is the login page. So in this login page, you have so many. This is the one section, and this is the login section, and also this breadcrumb, and you have to click on forget password. All these elements you have to identify. See email address. Password, forget password, login, continue button, new customer uh, header, returning customer header. So email address, edit box, password. Every element you identify here. Okay, every element you identify here. So let's go and do that. Login piece. Do the same whatever we did here. Till here, common. So instead of login, I just change it to home page. So home page you replace with the login page. That's it. So you're done. So logger is ready and constructor is ready. So if you, so this is a, see super keyword when you can use. If the parent class has a constructor, that constructor you want to represent here, you can use a super keyword. So this parent is web driver utils. So this web driver utils class has a constructor. So you are calling that constructor here. So that is what, and identify one by one element. So what are the elements? Maybe first we can identify this breadcrumb. So login breadcrumb, you can identify. So you, what is this breadcrumb? Let's identify this. See, uh, you can see you can start from here. UL class breadcrumb LA3A, right? LA3A. So that's what you can write XPath. So even you can write, uh, yeah, I will write my own XPath. I, I'm not going to depend on that. So let's build this. 
or you can even uh, right click relative x path you can get it um, but this is a very big one so let's take uh, absolute x path no i want relative x path let's see what x path it has given so to make it very fast i'm just taking it but you can if you want you can write it so this is also very big one yeah it also works out it also works out see that is the one so you can find out like this also So you can use any one. So it's up to you. You can use this also. Copy this and put it there. So I generate find by x path equal to x path well. So you generate class and uh, at the rate normalize space equal to login then private so web element so what you can say it's a proper name you give login page breadcrumb so we call that breadcrumb So breadcrumb and then so next what element you want new customer header this one so you can start from new customer header you can see you will get it so you can copy this or you can use this relative x bar, relative CSS select very big one. Let me see, starting from here, even if you start from there, you don't need that much big. So here, so ID content, uh, div, div, so div h2. Div and the child of four is saying, div and the child of, are not required that much. So if, if you want, you can take this relative x path. Simple. So at the rate, find by x path equal to So you can write private web element. So the element name, new customer header. Customer header. So just I will put this because we will reduce the lot of uh, duplicate. So redundancy, I just want to, because how many elements are there? All these elements, I'm just putting that. So that we can save the time. That's what the main ob object. So what is the next element? So new customer, continue button. So new customer, continue button. So we can put with name and title you can use this or you can use any of this I'll use this one copy this New customer. Button.
next so returning customer so i can use returning customer header returning customer header so next what is that email address edit box so input uh, you have a name id is there take id so we'll use all the locators again let's use all the locators id edit box address edit box or a text box we call them right so you can use an email i'll use for the password and name password edit box What is the next one? Forget password link. Maybe we can use link text simply. Uh, I'll use link text. So link right, I can say just uh, link text. Create password link. Next, login button. So let's use this. This one we can use a double forward slash input value login. So login button. That's it. So any other elements left? So we did all the elements, right? Nothing more left. So any element left? No, right? We're done with all elements. And one more. Uh, yeah, so you can see here. Uh, suppose you, you didn't give any username password, then you just click on that. So you're getting error message, right? This error message also we have to take. So empty credentials error message also you have to take. So how to get that? Let's see this. So you can uh, try this. Yeah, here you can see. So you, you need to write this. See div dot class div dot class value. See here spaces are there. I'll remove all the spaces and alert. Maybe I can use uh, star and I can write that. So that is the one I want to write an X path. 
or CSS selector. Let's write a CSS selector. Okay. So let's write CSS selector. Uh, let me put so two more elements I'm going to identify. And I will uh, first write using CSS. And you can see div square bracket class star equal to. So I'm just giving a class value. So the class value is you can give a partial, okay? So this part I can give. <laughs> That's it. So what is this? Empty credential error message. Empty credential error message. Next, I want to identify this home icon. So you can say login home icon. You can find it out. You can take this. Okay, you can take this. So copy that. Home icon. So these are the elements. Now, what is our next step? So write the methods on them. Write the methods. So on that. Everything covered, right? So all them, all of them completed. Now. So first I'll click on this home icon. So let's develop the method public. So wide click home icon. So are you are you getting which one I, I was talking? The home icon means this one. Okay. So I want to click that, it will go to home page. So log dot info. Click on button. So click on breadcrumb home icon. Breadcrumb home icon. Just call click method. So add throws declaration. No. So I need to get this empty credentials error message. So we'll just do that. So it's a return type method, right? What type of data type is public string? So message it says text. So get empty credentials error message. So return element dot. How can you get the text? Element dot get text. Get attribute of oh, sorry. Text right is a text. Get text. Or get text of element you can give. Directly we have a method in the so I'll call the method. So this method is there in the WebDriver Utils class.
you can get the login page url also if you want this url you can get the login page url so i'll write another method public string get so login page url so you already know how to get this so what is the method we need to use So there is a method for us in uh, web drive retails. So wait for, so URL contents. Here is the one. You have to give a fraction URL. That fraction URL I have defined in the constants. So this fraction value, I am just getting this, uh, this fraction value figure, you will get the entire thing. So what I'm doing constants, so in the constant space, we declared that. See, uh, you can just simply log in, just type log in, uh, page fraction URL. You can see login page fraction URL. So this is declared already in the, uh, so what is this value if you want to see, just go there. Click on control, mouse click, it will take. See, this is the one. So this is the value rate fraction URL. You can see this is the fraction URL. So that based on that, I'm getting the entire page. So URL. Okay. Done. So next, uh, we need to perform. This is done. This is done. Uh, now we get to forget password page. Right? Navigate to forget password page. Public. So wide. Navigate to forget password page. So log dot info. If you want logger message, just put log include log dot info. So click on. Forget password link. Then just click method and that element. Next. So last one, do login. Public. So void do login. So login, you know already what we need. String, email, string, password. So just... Uh, Right, first one, what you need to do? So I'll just put some info, log dot info. So performing. The login operation. So just call send data. So first you need to send data, email address edit box, and just put email. Next to same. Password. Password edit box. Then, so click on login button.
login button. Okay, so that's it, right? Anything pending? Okay, you can you can write a boolean commands. So on these elements are present or not, you can write a boolean commands. Like is displayed some method right, displayed. Right, 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 exactly. Maybe we can, uh, so one more, right? Uh, you can navigate to this one, this functionality. You can navigate to registration page. You see, if you click on this, it will go to register account page. So that is the one test case you can write. I click action, you write. So write that. So navigate to, I'll copy this. So navigate to register page. Navigate to register page. Click on, so you can right click on new customer continue button. Customer continue button. And you can just put new customer continue button. So that's it. Then, is new customer header exist? And you can develop a, a Boolean methods, all Boolean methods you can develop. So, public um, Boolean is customer, right? Is a new customer, right? Is a new customer. Is a new customer header exist? So is a new customer header exist. So return is displayed. So I'm just checking is displayed or not. Web element based. So new customer header. Next, same way. So what are the other? You can just check that. Is returning customer header exist? Is returning customer header exist? Um, returning customer header exist. Next last one, breadcrumb. Login, breadcrumb exist. Yeah, so that's all. So, two pages are done. Home page is done. Login page is done. Let's go and do the next my account page. So, once you join back, we'll do that. <laughs>